What up, folks? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? They dropped my charges. I fought my case in court and I won. I didn't give in. I didn't fold under pressure. I gave him hell. Out in Chicago, what's up? Oklahoma, Nate Skates. BLM, Old Dirty Ninja, Dave, what's up guys? I fought my case in court and I won today. Case dismissed. The offer they gave me was to stay away from the building. I said, hell no, I ain't staying away from the building. Give me liberty or give me death is what I said. I could have went to jail if I would have lost. I've been there before. Ain't nobody too scared of no jail. What I'm afraid of is not doing what I came to do, and that's fight. And that's fight for my freedom and fight for what's right. So let me tell you guys what happened. I did a video. I went to a place where there was, so I went to a place and this guy was taking a break outside. And uh, we just started talking to him and right away he started getting all rude and stupid. And so uh, we gave each other hell. And uh, he had no quarrels. He went inside, went about his day. But there's a cop named Garib from the Bakersfield Police Department, Officer Garib. Officer Garib was watching my videos. And Officer Garib decided to call the guy and ask him if he wanted to press charges. He was trying to solicit a crime on me. <laughs> I wasn't gonna let that happen, man. I fought. And I wanna give a big shout out and a big thank you to Dave McRae, the author who wrote the book on First Amendment auditors. Thanking every single First Amendment auditor, thanking every cop watcher out there. Dave McRae, if you guys haven't heard of his book, it's called Rise of the Old Breakers. It was inspired by my work and yours. So, big shout out to Dave McRae for helping me fight this case. And we won, bro. Dave McRae, I owe you a big thank you and a big bear hug, bro. If I ever see you, I might have to travel to South Dakota to go give you a big bear hug for helping me win this case. And uh, if you guys get a chance, go purchase Dave McRae's books on Amazon. Feels real good, guys, to fight my case and win. I could have lost and went to jail. But I said, oh, hell. To hell with it. If I, if I go to jail, then I'll just have my family run my channel. And I'll go do, I'll go do my time like a G. And they don't want to put me in jail. You want to know why? Because I'll walk out of there with 100 to 1,000 new activists. Believe that. Believe that. I took... Uh, persuasive communication in college for a reason. I want people to follow me. I was in the courthouse making new activists, creating them, letting them know, bro, check me out. Here's my card. You can do what I do. I can help you get monetized and help you get your thousand subs because uh, we're going up against a wild oil machine who has all the money in the world, our money. <laughs> so I fought and I won, guys. That's all I got to say, man. I'm gonna order some food. So I'll have to talk to you guys later. Right, Crispy? What's up, amigo? I fought my case and I won today. Case was dismissed. Big shout out to uh, Dave McRae um, in South Dakota who helped me fight and helped me win. A retired game warden, a retired cop helped me win this fight. How about that, folks? How about that? Thank you guys, man. Thank you guys for supporting me. I'd rather do my time than go out like a bitch. So. Nadine, where am I at, Nadine? <laughs> Quentin James, Alex Code, Christopher, what's up, guys? Shit. 
Got my beautiful wife with me. Got Nate's gate in the house. Hell yeah, guys. Man, it feels so good to fight and win, guys. It's like jumping in the octagon knowing if you're going to beat the other guy up or if he's going to kick your ass and you walk out of there as a victor. It's a good feeling, folks. So anyways, thank you guys for tuning in. Much love and respect.